Verb plus the infinitive and gerund with different meaning. So the table contain there is remember, forget, and start. The first is remember. If we remember someone or something, we keep the person or the thing in our mind, or we bring the person or the thing back to our mind. So the first we have remember plus to infinitive it's used to refer to tax duty obligation or something we have to do for example the verse is Layla remembered to call her sisters Layla yes miss can your sister come here tomorrow to sing this statement of course but my sister can be called at working time mm. Um, so I will call her at 11 12 right oh okay I can miss thank you there are two actions in the sentence the first accent is Layla remembered and action two is Layla called her sister and for example two likely I remembered to lock the door before leaving home this morning the clean. I remember to lock the door before leaving home this morning. And there are two action in this sentence. Accent one is remembered, and accent two is I lock the door. The second is remember plus zero is used to have the memory of the past situation. For example, Layla remember calling her sister. Oh, where is my phone? I must be sure that I already to call my sister. There are uh, two actions from this sentence. First action is Layla called her sister and action to is now she remembers. Next sentence is I sure I have locked the door before leaving. I remember looking it. And there are two action. Uh, action one is I have locked to the door, and action two is I know, and I remember. So in remember by or uh, plus to infinitive is. Do not forget to do an action that happened after the two. Remember plus gerund is to recall an action that happens before the two. First, we do the action and then we remember the action. Forget, forget gerund follow the same pattern as remember. Forget plus gerund means to have memory of a past situation. Or forget gerund can also be used for something that already done. For example, I will never forget traveling abroad for the first time. Sophie, which country did you visit for the first time? Japan. It is really a beautiful country and the people are very friendly. Oh yeah? Hmm, I will never forget traveling abroad for the first time. Hmm. Forget plus infinitive is used to refer a text something you have to do. Or forget the infinitive can also be used for something that hasn't been done, for example, I'm forget to turn off my cell phone. Sorry, I'm forget to turn off my cell phone. For the last is stop. For the first stop plus infinitive, used to doing something for another purpose. Uh, for the example, I'm start to learn Hangul. Because it's very difficult to me. Are you still learning Hangul? No, I'm st stop to learn Hangul because it's difficult to me. For the second is stop plus verb ing or gerund. Used to stop doing something that has already done. For the example, of course, you can stop doing this if you're already tired. 
I'm tired. Of course, you can stop doing this if you're already tired. How is using gerunds or passive infinitive following need? So, the first is to infinitive. There are two forms, active and passive. And for the active, the formula is 2, verb, two plus verb 1. Example, I need to write my essays tonight. May, can you accompany me to the bookstore tonight? I want to buy a new book. I can. Uh, my essays need to be written by me tonight. Second is, my friend will come to the house. I need to prepare food and drink. What are you doing here? My friend is coming to my house, so food and drinks need to be prepared. And for passive, the formula is to be plus verb 3. Example, first, my essays need to be written tonight by me. Second, my friend is coming to my house, so food and drinks need to be prepared. The last is verb ing. In verb ing, the form is only for passive, and for passive, for passive is half. It means renovating, fixing, repairing, improving, and changing something. For example, first, that house needs renovating. Two, this phone doesn't need repairing. That's the end for our video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks for Goodbye. Watching.